Hey, it's James Ray Light from uh, Instagram, James Ray Light One, and from YouTube, James Ray Light Bass Player 2018. Yeah, I just wanted to say I have no political affiliation, but I'm asking people to not support Obama, Michelle Obama, or Oprah, and to walk away from the Democratic Party. Um, they're all career criminals. Obama's a terrorist with no birth certificate who caused a $16 trillion debt. Michelle has been stealing from the Treasury and the government since she was in high school. And Oprah is a maid who turned into a TV talk show host, and they're all trying to be white men, but they're not. Okay, and they're all trying to be materialistic, excessive white Jews and celebrity Hollywood uh, Africans, but, but they don't even represent black people or politics or, or democracy or democratic ways. Okay, they're all career criminals who should be indicted and they should not be supported by anyone. So, hashtag walk away from the Democratic Party and Oprah, Michelle, and Obama. Time's up for Oprah. Instead of her trying to act like she's, she's a white man who's in control of the whole world, she undermined democracy by installing a traitor, Obama, whose real name is Barry Sotoro, who's a CIA double, double operative, black ops, probably, but with no birth certificate. They, they have a whole conspiracy. Of their, all of their stuff is based on lies. Okay, they're not real black people. They don't represent black people. They're, you know, they're thief liars. Uh, and Oprah's a talk show host. They think they're politicians, but they've never held political office legally, just like they were never lawyers legally. They had both of them had their uh, lawyer you know, licenses taken away from them, Michelle and Obama. Oprah is, you know, she looks like a field Negro, just like the character in, in uh, you know, The Color Purple. She's trying to be a white man. She tried to be Phil Donahue with her talk show host. She tried to be uh, Clint Eastwood with her acting. Uh, or try to be Maya Angelou with her poetry and her books, and she's trying to imitate, you know, Ronald Reagan now trying to trying to be a president. And she's trying to think that she said she wasn't going to run, but I'm telling her what she should do is give back all the money that she stole, and that the Obamas stole, and give it back to the poor black people and the poor white people who had to pay for their bailout from the actual Chicago area, because they're not even from Chicago. Obama is from Kenya, supposedly. We don't even know where he's from. Indonesia, Kenya, Kansas, Hawaii. Who knows? It doesn't matter. It's, I don't care where someone's from. It's, his actions were criminal. Okay, He's a false, ignorant mulatto who doesn't represent black people. He's not a black, all black on both sides, African. He's a fake materialistic suit who's CIA, who thinks he's a propagandized terrorist, who thinks he's Malcolm X. Okay, That's, that's his profile. Michelle is an ignorant uh, black woman who is poor, who has big arms, who looks like a monkey with a bad eye. And she's a thief. She has been a thief, and she wanted to be the, the smart girl who outsmarted everyone, but she's a dumb African from the South Side who, who is trying to act white. She's trying to act like Felicia Rashad, but she has no class, and she can't sing like Felicia Rashad, who's an intelligent black woman. And I grew up watching the Cosby's. Okay, I like black people. I like black women. I like the movement of black people to freedom. Why do you think that white people gave up 250,000 lives in the Civil War from the North, from Illinois, was to free black people. So then in 1965, 1968, they have a civil rights movement. So they just wanted a seat on the bus, and they just wanted equal rights. So we gave that to them, which they should have had from the beginning. But now Obama, Oprah, and Michelle want to, want to become terrorists who take over the world and try to create civil wars in America with Black, black Lives Matter. And you're preaching to the choir, because don't you think white people know that Black Lives Matter? If we gave up 250,000 lives from Illinois, and Illinois is the place who made actually legal slavery was supposed to end through Lincoln. You understand that's why the Civil War was fought, because we know that black lives matter. So black people need to understand that you know white people do care about them. Why do you think they created a government that gives them welfare and gives them everything for free? Scholarships, Medicaid, welfare, all this stuff. And the Democratic Party is, is basically tries to keep people poor. You know, and, and dependent upon the government and just, you know, they end up going bankrupt because they want to give everything away for free. And that's not that's not how this system of, you know, free market system in America, a capitalist system works. So I'm not a Republican and I'm not a Democrat. I'm an independent person who never voted for Obama, the Clintons, Trump or the Bushes. OK, I don't agree with any of their politics. And Trump should have had to have been a senator for two years because he's an illegal president also. All of these people don't understand how to follow the rules of democracy or the, or the laws of the country. You know, I don't have a problem with them. They have a problem with following their own, the laws. Because I'm not a cop and I'm not an informant and I'm not, you know, anything like that. I'm not FBI. But what I'm telling people is, you know, the FBI should arrest them and indict all of them. 
Because why, if someone walks in and tries to rob a bank, they would, they would get shot or they would get arrested right there on the spot. So how could you let people who are criminals for 34 years or 20 years, or even Obama for 18 years, run wild like that and just, and just try to have dossiers for you know, 3,000 pages on all of them? They need, to, they need to be stopped and they need to be arrested. You know, all these people are mentally ill. And they're all CIA. They're all black ops CIA. And they're all caricatures of, of they don't represent American civilians. And the CIA needs to follow the rules because the CIA needs to stop uh, conspiring against innocent civilians like myself and trying to kill people in hospitals and mental institutions and then breaking into people's houses and trying to kill them in their sleep. Because I, I, this, if my own personal experience has been uh, the CIA threatening my life and trying to kill me while supporting o Oprah, Obama, and Michelle and the Democrats from Chicago who are Democratic Jewish uh, machine that doesn't even... That didn't even run correctly since the dailies. I'm from Chicago. Michelle's only from the South Side. She's a thief and has been a thief since she was uh, a child. Since she was stealing from her family, stealing from uh, her high school treasury, stealing from the government through the Medicaid and the government uh, Chicago medical community. And then she defrauded the government again with Obama through Oprah after Oprah endorsing Obama in the election of 2008 to 2016. Then they stole all the money, they used the big four, big four, big eight uh, accounting firms that worked with Enron, which also, you know, th that whole thing went bankrupt and they, they were all criminals. Uh, so they've been using the same accountants and I, you know, my question is, is how much money did they steal to try to end up living like materialistic, rich white celebrities in Hollywood and in the Hamptons and in Washington, thinking that they were poor Africans with no credentials, they didn't have any represent, fair representation of real black people, of, of bus drivers, of poor people in the projects. Of, you know, even if Obama worked with the poor people in the projects, he, he acted like he was a tourist guide and a foreigner. Okay? They don't represent real people from Chicago. They don't represent New York. They don't represent L.A. They're poor, poor Africans who wanted to be rich, who are drunk, alcoholic, materialistic crackheads and cokeheads who thought they could write their way out of poverty by, by airing their dirty laundry and then becoming Christians and then denouncing Jesus. Obama said he was the Antichrist. Oprah thinks that she, she's bigger than God and she replaces Jesus, but she's a dumb maid who, who, who's been reading a teleprompter for 34 years who's a Maya Angelou tribute. And she's no Maya Angelou. She doesn't have a class of Maya Angelou. You understand that? You know, Michelle is an ugly African with, with a bad eye from the south side of Chicago who's, who's a thief. Okay, and she, none of these people represent Chicago or the correct way that Illinois operates or how people in Illinois function, whether they're Africans, whether they're European Caucasians like myself, or whether they're Mexicans or whether they're Jews. They don't, they don't live like Oprah, Michelle, and Obama. Okay, they don't break the laws uh, at will and then join the CIA and just think they're going to take over the world. So it's hashtag walk away and time's up on Oprah, Michelle, and Obama. I swear to God, they're going to be indicted and I'm warning them. Because everything they have, all their assets are going to be seized. And all the money that they stole through the bailouts that poor white people and, and middle class white people and people from the suburbs and black people had to pay for. And the Jews just have given them a 34-year Jewish de Democratic parade 